awesome to get a third win. The first two years, you guys have really run over FIU's defense. Are you feeling more confident, even with all the injuries, about that matchup? Interesting what the backs and Tronta did against Western. Well, I, I don't know that. I mean, every week's new. Every season's definitely new. So what's happened in the past doesn't you know, have anything to do with this game. With the rivalries games against them, but also last week. So, you know, you see it every week. I mean, it happens at all levels, but I think it's even crazier in this conference. I mean, you never know who's going to win. You know, you see a team that you've played, and you think that team's going to definitely beat that team, and they go and lose. You know, I mean, look at Middle Tennessee's last two weeks. So, got to play every week. No assumptions. Do you think the team does a good job of understanding that? And preparing the same way every week? Uh, I do when we win. <laughs> um, no, I think they've done a good job. I think since the first two games, we kind of had that wake-up call. We've discussed about not playing well uh, versus UCF. You know, I mean, you know, one play away from being undefeated since then. You know, one call or one whatever. You know, so that game obviously, you know, haunts you, but it is what it is. Easily, we had that game one had something happened, and you know, you're sitting there talking about I think be clinching the the, con the division this week already with two game lead and the tiebreaker on, on both teams. So, is what it is, it just made it more difficult. We learned last night that Harrison accepted the senior bowl invite as a coach. I mean, you've sent guys to the combine to all these games. How much pride do you take when these guys get those opportunities? Well, I think this kind of goes back to what we discussed before about being here, being different for me, you know. Um, I mean, I, I got the invitation yesterday in the mail, you know, and was able to give it to him last night. And uh, I don't even remember giving those at the other places. I just think it was, you know, soon we we're going to have a bunch of guys go to it. And so just like the winnings and winning the conference and, you know, beating teams that hadn't beaten eight years, things like that, you know, you see our, our, our bigger deal. So, you know, I'd never had a kid come thank me for, you know, coaching him to, to the level to where he gets to the senior bowl. So some of that stuff's the first for me too. When you first got here, did you understand the magnitude of the importance of the Shula Bowl, especially for FAU? I, I did not, um, you know, which is probably my fault. Um, and I really didn't until the game when we won. I remember Herb Miller and these guys all sprinting down for the trophy. I don't think I even knew there was a trophy. Um, you know, so I think that's kind of where, you know, um, kind of put it in perspective for me how big it is. And so. I try to really relay that to our younger players, our freshmen that, that would probably not know as well, um, a lot of them. Any chance you make that sprint? No, I'm good. <laughs> 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 One of the, uh, it's, it's a more recent trend with the, with the Shula Bowl trophy is the ripping off of the opposing team's helmet. Is that, is that just good, clean fun? I don't even know if the first time that it happened on purpose, but it's, is that good, clean fun? Is it? Did you talk to the guys about that? I don't. We've got a lot bigger problems than that, so we're in a position to decide whether to rip it off. That's probably a good, good spot to be in, so I, it, that doesn't really matter to me. And Coach, uh, you know, B.J. Owens has practiced this week, but I mean, do you guys kind of have a deadline set for him where you know he has to be able to do this much by this day? Well, we would, you know, we hope he plays this week. So um, if he's ready to go, he will. So we don't really have you know, things that you have to practice certain days and stuff. You know, Malcolm didn't take a play last week. You know, or, sorry, not Malcolm, but um, Larry. You know, Larry didn't take one play all week. You know, and we barely even brought him on the trip, and all of a sudden he played, so you never know. How's BJ look? Uh, he looks good. With the comparing, I know you don't like this, but stick with me for a second. The, the 2017 team. Where there, when you came in, it was all new. There was a lot of buzz around the team and lane train and all that other stuff. And then you look at this team, which is arguably better than that team, but it, it, it doesn't seem like there's as much enthusiasm around. Am I, is that a, a, a wrong assessment for, on my part? And do you think that, why, why do you think that might be that there isn't as much? Well, first off, we lost the conference game, you know, and that team never did. Um, and I think that team, you know, this team could get better, you know, over the next month or so, but that team was better than this team right now. I mean, that team blew everybody out. 
Marshall was the only game, you know, what, nine conference games, the only game that was within 14 points. So, um, you know, we're not as explosive right now, obviously, without without Devin, but, you know, we're finding other ways, you know, to score and do things. So, um, you know, different, different team. But, but the, I do feel the comparison really wouldn't be that. The comparison would maybe be chemistry and, you know, really cool whole bunch of kids that are really fun to coach. On, on this one? On both. Mm-hmm. But, but the, just in general, the community is, is uh, we've seen this once, is that the kind of the newness of, the, of that 17 year where people now expect it, that you should be at this particular point? Yeah, I, I think that's human nature. You know, well, once you win, people forget where you were at, you know, before, you know, so that's good and bad. You know, because it means you're setting new standards, but you know, no one thinks anymore like, hey, okay, you know, I don't think, you know, they're not sitting there going, hey, six games, okay, we're in a bowl, that's that's amazing. Where in our first year, you know, people I talked to when I first got here, you know, immediately, even people in power were, hey, just find a way to get us to a bowl game would be amazing. You know, that was kind of like way up there. So um, I think once you do that, that, that people's standards change and you get spoiled. You know, I've seen it in some reactions like the Middle Tennessee game where, you know, had that same game happened two years ago, close game like that, and we went it by whatever, 10 points or something. You know, everybody would be so excited. And I'd seen some people afterwards like, man, we didn't play very good. You know, so that just that comes with the territory. So it's a good problem to have versus having a problem of, you know, winning three games. What makes Kiki so good at disrupting plays behind the line of scrimmage? I think his pad leverage, you know, how physical he plays, how smart he plays if he times things up, you know. Um, awesome kid and a really good player. I thought he does a pretty good job taking care of the ball. I think they've only thrown two interceptions. With that, do you, do you almost have to say they're not giving us the ball, so we have to be even more aggressive to, to create some of those opportunities? Yeah, but you also, you know, when you dissect the film, you look at last week, I mean, he threw three of them to him last week, and I want to say the first 25 plays, you know, two they dropped, and one got called back that they intercepted. So um, he's giving you some opportunities. You just got to make the most of them there. People say that it's not really a rivalry until both sides have won uh, on a game. You you haven't lost yet to, uh, to FIU. Is that Do you still feel this is a rivalry? I mean, does it feel like a different game? Yeah, rivalry, but that doesn't matter. I mean, <clears throat> once you've been, you know, it's, you know, yeah, I don't, it's a rivalry. It's, it's LSU, you know, this week's game against Alabama, not a rivalry because I would have not beat Saban yet. No. So I don't think that has anything to do with it. It's the, it's the history of the matchup. Thanks, Coach. How's your album? Thank you.